I've seen plots of green, uh, free, free spots. So I need 14 green pepper seeds because I just got two. Yo, Michiko, you're not wearing a costume. Lame. Chill, man. She doesn't have to wear one. She's not part of our costume squad. Okay, okay. By the way, I'm sure you could tell by my dulcet voice, but it's me, Lars. My cow costume is foolproof out. Right, right? Jacoba here playing the horse. My, ma my old man's feeling the hind legs. You're doing great, Dad. Oh, the sheep? Nah, actually, that's just a regular sheep. We thought we could help revitalize the town with these animal costumes. What do you think? Genius, right? Uh, it's a great idea. <laughs> See, you're a great pal. Real, you're a real pal, Chico. I'm glad you get us. We haven't decided what we're gonna do exactly, but we're working workshop with some options. I know. How about a parade? We could still dress up. We can bring along real animals and get the townsfolk involved too. Oh, hold your horses, horsey! I can't handle how good of an idea that is. <laughs> oh, for goodness sake! Still dressing up like animals, are we? You don't gotta be so cold about it, Nizaki. We're talking about holding a festival. We gotta get hyped and put our all into it. Is that right? Well, you're welcome to get hyped however you like, my dear. I'll support you from a distance. Put your best hoof forward out there, boys. Why are y'all dressed like this, though? <laughs> I thought they were actual animals. Oh man, do you think we'll ever be able to get Mizaka to join our costume crew? Don't push your luck, son. This is our job, remember? Ugh, I guess you're right. But if that's how it's gonna be, then I swear I'm gonna be the coolest horse in the parade. Nay, I say. Uh, paging Mr. Horsetail, Mr. Horsehead. You're not supposed to be talking to your legs while in character. Now immersion's ruined. <laughs> My whole immersion's ruined already. I didn't know you guys were <laughs> in those costumes. Oh no! Is today not the day to be buying in? Or is it too early? No, I think it's Tuesday. Oh, it's Tuesday, so they're not selling, right? Oh no. Where's Jack? Where's everybody? Frack. Well, I guess we're not gonna. Where's my horse? Did I trigger that story and it's like kicked my horse out? Yeah, I did. What the? Well, since I'm here, let me check the... the cal- Wait, don't I have a calendar on me? I do. I'm stupid. Um, cause it takes like, what, how many days for... this to grow? Eight days after planting. So... Since I can't plant today because they're not here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then I'll have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I think I'm gonna plant one more time. Cause I think it takes like four days after for it to replant itself. So there's gonna be a gap where I have like nothing growing. Unless I wanna grow spinaches real quick for like the last four days or so. Well, where is Jack and Damon? Where do they hang out at? That's Iori. I keep forgetting she's here. Hello. Ah. Can I offer anything? What is this? Change somebody's name? Okay. Anywho. I didn't even check if Damon was home. His parents are here. But he's not. Alright, let's look at the map and see where they're at. Damon is in the cafe. 
Okay, where is Jack? Jack's walking. Okay. Well, let's head to the cafe. Or should we go see Damon first? Or Jack? Oh, or a story. That's fine. Michiko, just what I wanted to see. Seeing how you're one of the newest residents of this town, I have a request for you. So this might sound odd, but could you ask people what they think of my husband? Um. Oh yes, Norman's such a nice man. We buy all our ingredients from his shop, actually. He's always got such great products lined up. It's been a great, a big help for me in, my, in the cafe. <laughs> Can't read fairly. Oh, Norman, well, we'll talk every once in a while about movies and such. He hardly leaves his shop, and I'm always manning the hotel, though. It's like we both work 24-7. But I like to grab a meal with him sometime. Tell him that for me, would you? Norman? Yeah, I spot him fishing every so often. As far as I can tell, though, I don't think he manages to catch all that many fish. He told me once that he's happiest when he's just relaxing outside, since he's all, all, almost always indoors managing the store. Eh, that's a sentiment I can relate to for sure. It sounds like he's doing well for himself here. I'm glad to hear that. Sorry, I had to go, all, go to all that trouble. I can only come here on my days off, so I worry from time to time he's getting along with other townsfolk. But it seems like my worries were misplaced. Everyone seems to like him. Anyway, I'm grateful for your help. Thank you. You're welcome. Even though you could have asked those people yourself about your husband. Um, don't know where my people are at this point now. Jack is still around here? Oh, he's selling his stuff. I was like, I saw those carvings earlier and I was like, that seems like something Jack will sell. What are, what are you, the monarch of mushrooms? Only impressive. <laughs> We've been getting more customers recently. I guess being busy isn't so bad. I'm glad, my love. I'm selling all the beautiful artif artifacts, beautiful creations you've created. All right, this is not the cafe, that is a flower shop. This is the cafe. Restaurant. Whatever you want to call it. I think I'm triggering a story. Welcome! Oh, it's you, Mishiko. How have you been? Want anything to eat? Blair! I'm hungry! Feed me! <laughs> Mikey, why are you even here? We have plenty of food at home. Yeah, but I'm tired of the stuff Bob makes. I want to eat Mizaki's food. Absolutely not. Our customers come first. So I gotta be a customer, huh? What are you looking at me for? Then I'm with her. <laughs> I'm not paying for you, little boy. Don't be ridiculous. Get out of here. Fine, if you're not going to feed me, then I'm going to Patricia's. Mikey, don't you dare. You can't go to someone else's place to eat. Eat at home, you little... <laughs> Ugh, are all boys like that? Sorry about my little brother. He can be a real pain. He's at the point where he won't stop asking me questions like... Things like, are you in love? When are you going to get married? It's so obnoxious. But that's not really something you talk about with little brothers, you know? Speaking of which, um, what do you look for in a partner? Personality-wise, I mean. Active and energetic, cool and intellectual. Someone like you, Blair. No. Cool and intellectual. I ain't leading her on already, got for it. <laughs> five, five, five guys, right? Damon, Neil, Rager, Jack. And then if you count, um, Ralph. Oh, that's the complete opposite of me. I have to admit, I'm interested to see how love ends up finding you. <laughs> well, you should ask five contenders. We already have lined up. Where is he? Where's Damon? <gasps> Did I miss him because of your story? I think I possibly did. He should be around here though, right? Damon. I am blind, but I will find you. Oh, he's in the plaza. Somewhere in the plaza. Where's Iori? Where's Victor? Oh, there they are. Chatting it up. Huh. That's the mushroom hunt for you. You a big mushroom fan by any chance? Man, there are a ton of tourists now. <laughs> I would hope so. I've been, like, working it out. I feel so bad ignoring Yori, but he's not our contender anymore. He has been knocked off. Alright, 
now we shall visit the boys on the other islands. One swept falls. Is Neil inside or outside? He is most likely outside because he's not in here. And I'm about to give him something he probably does not like again. <laughs> Would you like some baked beans? <laughs> oh. What? This is for me. Uh, thanks, I guess. He does not like baked beans. Yo. Don't go skipping out on meals just because you're busy. Working on an empty stomach is a one-way ticket to pass out. Which is why I'm about to end this soon because I am hungry. You should play with Hina sometimes. You're free. Seems like you'd be good with kids. And I'm sure Hina would be over the moon to have another playmate. Where's Hina? She, wasn't she just here? Oh, there she is. Play with me! <laughs> Alright, now let's go and see Rager. What are we at heart wise with everyone? Still only six hearts, huh? If I give him something he doesn't like, would it like drop his heart? Jesus, Victor, goddamn. Did I drop his heart down? I wasn't actually thinking about that. Shall we shoot for my boy? Mm. Mm. Autumn is such a pleasant season, isn't it? I wish cooler days like these were guaranteed all year round. True. It's so hot now. Mm. Coming here was a great change of pace. I never want, want I never want for new ideas. Making connection with new lands was all I needed, I suppose. Mm. Okay, so we're just gonna talk about life. Not about our relationship, okay. <laughs> there has to be something I can... Yeah, because that went up. I might be screwing myself with Neil by giving him something he doesn't like. Is there something else I can give him to eat? I might have to look that up because what did I write down for him? Milk or honey? Oh, he likes milk? I have loads of that. Milk or honey. And his birthday's in winter. Would I like the milk tea I have then? Or no? <laughs> to think I could have been giving him my milk this entire time. Alright, well, let me put these back. There is no shellfish. Oh no, no, there is. Okay. So I can make this for Rager. Alright, I think I am gonna save it here for today. So we have given all the confession pendants to the guys that we're going for. And now we just have to figure out who we're actually wanting to marry. And the easiest way to do that is getting them to all nine hearts. <laughs> Basically all nine hearts, so then I can watch through all of their um, love stories and such. I hope I can finish this before my vacation ends because I only have two more days left to record. Um, record freely without having to stress out about putting in other uh, activities to go into my day. But this is where we're at. This is where I'm going to stop for today. We have content. We have Ralph that we are dating. Jack we're dating. David we're dating. Rayer and neil that we're dating so ralph is out of the question not going for him he's our high school sweetheart he's gonna stay our high school sweetheart and we're not gonna continue after that uh right now the contenders for me personally is jack and neil so damon and rager would have to kind of fight their way to try to get my heart but right now it's tied between jack and neil who i am actually very infatuated with so i'm quite excited for that um farm is going well we're making money so that's great because that that blue feather is sixteen thousand, and i don't know if my house is upgraded to the point where it's suitable for marriage i don't know how that's gonna work out but i guess we'll figure it out when the time comes because jack has one more heart to go damon has two and the other two i believe have two as well that they need to get to no three 
three. Rager is going up to seven. Neil is stuck at six because I believe the item I gave him he didn't like too much. So he didn't really care for it too much. So his heart is a little bit slow. But now we have the items needed to get their hearts up. I have shellfish soup for Rager and I have plenty of milk. <laughs> for Neil, so I'm quite excited for that. But thank you guys for watching today's episode. Stay beautiful, and I'll see you guys in the next one.